All right, there are some brand new AI image generating features uh, within Dolly. So you have to get them using Microsoft Copilot. I'm going to show you how very quickly and what you need to know. All right, I'm excited about this one because it's actually pretty cool. All right, so if you don't know, my name is Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this new feature. So uh, if you don't know, I, I did a quick little overview of Copilot and what's new in the free version of Copilot. So uh, if you don't know, it's essentially uh, Microsoft's online chatbot. It used to be called Bing Chat. Now it's called Copilot. Um, and there's a free version, a paid version called Copilot Pro. And then there's a different kind of enterprise desktop version. We're not going to get into that. We're actually just going to be looking at the free version. So uh, if you don't have, um, you know, if you don't maybe have budget to pay the $20 a month, you can still do all of this for free. You can access Dolly for free. So people don't know that. So, you know, right now, if you want to use Dolly, you might think, oh, I have to pay $20 a month for a chat GPT subscription. No, nope, you can use it for free in Copilot. So what uh, the best way to do this is go over here into this Copilot GPTs. All right. And then you're just going to click designer. All right. So I just have a little prompt ready. Nothing special. Very, very straightforward. So I said, create an illustration of Benny the Bull walking down a busy Chicago street. All right. So I'm from Chicago. Uh, I like the bulls, even though they're not that good. Uh, <laughs> so uh, here we go. So the thing that I still really like about uh, Dolly um, at least within Microsoft Designer, is it's the only way by default to easily get four photos, right? Uh, so when Dolly 3 first launched inside of ChatGPT, um, of course, this is the uh, OpenAI's model. So you actually have more features and functionality in the uh, designer from Microsoft than you do in OpenAI's own tool, which is kind of strange, right? Uh, but Microsoft does own 49% uh, reportedly of OpenAI. So uh, pretty pretty good stuff here. So Photos here are actually pretty good, right? Uh, pretty good photos here from Dolly. So uh, here's what I want to show you that's new. So aside from, hey, you can get four different images, which you can't anymore if you're using Dolly 3 inside of OpenAI, is there some really cool kind of, I'd say, like automatic uh, editing features. So pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So let's take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and click one of these, and you'll see a little animation here come up. Look at that. There it is. All right. So what that means is now, uh, it's actually pretty interactive and I really like it, right? So as an example, um, I'm going to go ahead and click and you can hover over, right? So I could, uh, just pull all of Benny the bull out, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to click blur background. All right. So we're going to blur the background a little bit. There we go. It wasn't a, wasn't a huge blur. I'm actually curious if I can blur it again. Let's see if it can get more blurry. It looks like I just got his teeth there. All right, there we go. All right, so I think it actually is making it a little blurrier the more I do it. Uh, it'd be cool if there was a scale um, or a slider to make it more blurry. Don't don't think I can, but that's okay. It actually did a pretty decent job, and I can still uh, select things uh, in the in the background here. You'll see if I hover over them. All right, so let's try some things. I'm going to highlight the jersey. Okay, let's see if I can get just the jersey. Little, little touchy. There we go. Just had it. There we go. Okay. So the cool thing now is I can go down here and I can make edits to just that one specific part of the photo. Well, kind of, because it's still going to regenerate everything from scratch. But uh, Copilot and uh, this designer, GPT, are going to use their big AI brain and try to get me something that I want. So I'm just going to say something very simple. I'm going to say make the jersey. So now, presumably, what it's going to do is based off this one Benny the Bull, Benny the Bull photo that I chose out of the four, it's probably going to reprompt Dolly um, in the designer GPT, try to get me a similar photo, right? Um, and then, but make the jersey black. All right, so let's see how it did. Um, the thing I like about designer, it's actually, it's very nice to work with, right? Uh, I know that sounds weird, but, you know, with, with UI and UX, um, some, some are very clunky and I actually really like, um, I like Copilot. It's very nice, uh, to use. It's easy to use. All right. So you see here, it's not exactly the same, right? But, um, without having to reprompt, I can just highlight one thing, talk to, 
um, you know, talk to Copilot and then um, make some changes. So let's do another example here. So let's just go ahead and let's choose this one. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to highlight. And, and this is so fast and it is very nice to work with. All right. I'm going to highlight this car and I'm just going to say, put a uh, basketball hoop there. All right. So let's see how good it does. Uh, I'm actually curious to see if the photo is going to stay somewhat consistent. Is it still going to be a black jersey? And will a basketball hoop be on the left side? Uh, I think it will be. I think uh, a lot of these uh, other elements are going to change. It's essentially reprompting, but I believe it's going to keep uh, this black, um, you know, the black jersey, Benny the Bull. Everything else is probably going to remain uh, roughly the same. And hopefully we'll see a basketball hoop on the left hand side. Um, left hand side of this photo so we'll give it a second here and then we'll try a couple other uh we'll pick our favorite one and then we'll try a couple other um of the new uh, kind of one touch um features in here so uh, unfortunately it didn't do a good job so one thing that i like is you can always click this and then you can see the full prompt so what it actually does is it opens it up in copilot designer which is a separate program right uh, so we'll see what it did so you'll see here it changed kind of the prompt and it extended the prompt as well. And then it's going to say, let's see if it said anything about a basketball hoop. Let's see. So it did say there is also a basketball hoop on the sidewalk, right? Um, and Benny is holding a basketball in his hand, right? So if I go over here and if I look, I don't see any of the basketball hoops, but it could be out of view. So let's just go ahead and click um, and see if... Uh, by looking at the photo a little bigger. Yeah, it doesn't look like it got the basketball hoop, um, but that's okay. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go back and we'll get our four images again. I'm gonna pick one and let's just make a couple edits to it. I like this one here. So you'll see down here at the bottom, there's some different uh, default presets, which is pretty cool, right? So let's say as an example, I want the whole thing to be pixel art right? Um, I just click on it once and it's going to recreate this image. So again, presumably what's happening behind the scenes here is it's rerunning, uh, right? So when it split that up into four different images, it has a corresponding and new and updated prompt um, for those four images. So uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, there we have our pixel art version, uh, which I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, so let's just go ahead. Let's try one more. Let's try... Uh, Let's try clay, claymation, right? Let's see how that works. All right, so we'll we'll let this uh, generate here as we wrap this AI in five up. Yeah, it's more than five minutes. Sometimes we get excited. All right, this actually looks pretty cool, right? Uh, and you'll see here, unlike the other ones, uh, you start to get this basketball hoop. You get it a little bit. It didn't fully work it in, uh, but that's okay. All right, so there you go. There's what's new also. You can uh, click to edit in designer, which is really nice. And then it's going to launch that photo uh, in Microsoft designer. Uh, you do have to have a free uh, account to, to use uh, some of these features, just so you know. Yeah, and there you go. There's our, our basketball hoop over there. Uh, the thing is, it's um, designer is actually a really nice program. It's easy to use. Uh, but hey, for the simple stuff I'm showing, I think it actually just works really, really well um, inside of this uh, designer GPT. Uh, so another thing you can do is you can just click this uh, little button right there, and you can also change it to a square or landscape, which I really like. Um, so we'll actually see. Again, I'm not sure. I haven't done a lot of testing in this, so I don't know if it's going to recreate the image or use uh, kind of like a magic extend, something like you would see in uh, Adobe or Canva has this as well. So we'll try to see if it actually just reprompted it in a different aspect ratio. Yeah, so that's what it did. It just reprompts it in a different aspect ratio. So keep that in mind. I don't like this one as good as the other one, but that's what happens if you change the aspect ratio. It's essentially just going to reprompt it. All right, so a couple other quick features is you can click that copy button. All right, so then that copies, um, I believe it copies the image, right? And then you can paste it in later. You can click the share button, right? So you can get a link that you can share with others, right? So there's our link. I'm gonna paste it in and there's the link so you can see the whole thing. And then I can go in from here, download and customize, right? And then, oh, go on the right one here. Let's see our last, um, oh, and then the last one is you can always click more information. 
to see the full prompt, right? So this is what it changed it to. I didn't type this out. Uh, the designer GPT actually did this for me. And then I can click the, uh, the other three dot for more options and click download. All right, that was a lot. I know, uh, you know, sometimes these videos are all over all over the place. I don't edit them. I like to give it, bring it to you live so you can see sometimes if there's problems, if things don't go the way I was expecting them to, because I think that helps you learn better, right? Uh, so uh, regardless, you know, check out these different GPTs. I think the designer one is super slick and it's worth taking a look at. All right, speaking of taking a look at, go take a look at our free daily newsletter. Go to youreverydayai.com. Make sure to sign up. Uh, Make sure to sign up to that newsletter, but also subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. All right. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks.